so I just got this crazy sharp knife in the mail and I want to show it to you it's really an interesting model this is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 and it's an interesting model with a S110V steel S110V steel and it's obviously got these really interesting blue purple scales and I wanted to just get it in full sunlight so you could see what it looks like in natural light. Very smooth out of box, well centered. This is a pretty gnarly knife. This is the sharpest knife I've ever gotten straight from the factory. So of course the classic sharpness test for a pocket knife is cutting through some paper, especially through some thin newspaper. And as you can see, I'm just slowly bringing the knife through the paper, not using a lot of force, especially on the edge of the paper. It's really going to be that sharp micro bevel, the true razor's edge of a knife that's going to illustrate a knife's sharpness. And in this case, I really just need to put the knife there and, and bring it along the edge and I'm getting basically little curls with this paper. This is really exceptional for a so-called tactical folding knife from the factory. In fact, I rarely have knives in my collection that come this sharp. It really is incredibly sharp. It's scary sharp. And I, I think that that's a term that's sometimes overused. This is a knife that I would only recommend it to people who are experienced in knives and want serious cutting performance. No kidding, guys. This is the sharpest knife I've ever received from the factory. This is a Spyderco Paramilitary 2, an S110V steel. This is not actually a sprint run. It's going to be a regular production knife. And this is really exciting because typically these Paramilitary 2s are very difficult to acquire. And while this is new to the market and uh, they're selling out really fast, you should be able to get your hands on these. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the paramilitary two style in general, the design of this, how it is really an excellent everyday carry knife for a person looking for a large size of knife. We're talking about S110V steel and see what's so special about that. And I'll just lastly be kind of discussing the fit and finish on this particular edition of the paramilitary two, which Spyderco has been making some changes in that respect. I think everyone will be interested to hear what Spyderco is doing differently. Okay, first let's just talk about the Paramilitary 2 design in general. I'm going to cover this relatively quickly since this knife is very familiar. Paramilitary 2 basically is the second version of Spyderco's military knife. They've narrowed the handles, it's got really good ergonomics, it's got this choil here, it's got a, a number of positions that you can grip the knife comfortably. It has notably a compression lock which is a very nice solid lock style that basically is going to assure you that this knife is never going to fail due to natural use. But the real star of the show of this particular paramilitary 2 model is the S110V steel and we've got the data sheets in front of us feel free to pause it and look at the details I can't break it all down for you right here but basically this is one of the highest if not the very best American stainless steel right now utilizing the best process of manufacturing the steel and having tons of characteristics of truly high-end steels. It's an incredible alloy. It has tons of carbides in it. It is very hard and it is known for being one of the best edge holding steels on the market ever. But as is normal with Spyderco, in addition to doing something really awesome with this knife by putting in this incredible steel that Spyderco fanboys have been asking for in Paramilitary 2 for a long time, they've gone ahead and done something a little weird, and that is put it in this semi-translucent purple-blue scale. Now, you've seen it in a few different lights. Here it is with my tabletop light. Um, they call it purple on Blade HQ, and I think that's a good description. It's kind of a, a dark bluish purple. Not really my taste, to be honest, and um, although it is perfectly made, it has great texture, definitely a practical scale as far as, you know, grip and all of that is concerned. The color is just sort of 
Not my favorite of the various paramilitary tools that are out there, so that's one thing to consider. Of course, there are all kinds of aftermarket scales that are available for the paramilitary tool, and so you could really have a, a beast of a knife by maybe putting carbon fiber scales on this S110V steel knife. This would be a much better deal than the Sprint Run paramilitary twos utilizing S90V, whether it's a laminated one or an all S90V steel. Basically, you're getting the next generation of this high carbide steel from Crucible, and you're getting it in a regular production piece. Hopefully, this will be available for a long time. The color is the one thing that, for me, is a little bit of a hang-up. I don't think the scale is going to be a deal breaker for most of the people who would really want this knife. I am including just a couple pictures here of the knife in different light. What I wanted to comment on last was just the fact that this is the best fit and finish from a paramilitary 2 that I've seen yet from Spyderco, and I've owned maybe five or six paramilitary 2s. Everything on this knife from the factory was just beautiful. So let me know in the comments below if this is a knife that you would consider. Are you into these special Spydercos? Is a really high-end steel and an affordable knife something you're interested in? Thanks a lot for watching, and I appreciate your comments, your likes, and definitely subscribe if you're new to this channel.